Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. I've got all the braces put in all the way around that I think I need for now. You can see I'm standing on it here now. I can jump up and down on it if I can if I want to. Uh, I'm not going to, just gonna just show you that it is braced up. It's not going anywhere. Jolene asked me this morning, am I gonna cut the metal out of here that goes all the way across to the other side? Well, I'm not sure if I am or not. Not sure at this present moment. I don't have to raise the present moment, but if I need metal, I might. I might. One thing I'm, I'm telling her, what I have told her, when I do step on that, it would have to push the other side off too, so there's, it's twice as strong. I mean, yes, there's a gusset here holding that piece from this side, but once it's connected this side to that side, it really has to bend both sides. So it is giving it more strength, and I'm going to leave it be for right now. I've got the ladders pulled out because I have all the braces put in it. Um, not everything is exactly where it needs to be. I don't, you know, there's some things that might get cut out or might not get cut out, I'm not sure. But I took the round stock that we had holding the wheel arches separated. I took them out because we have the new square stock down there. We have it uh, braced up the front, in the middle, in the back, on the side, behind the wheel. You can see how I done this one. I put it over top of the, the leaf spring and then I put it up to the chassis. So that's braced in there nice and tight and right. I have these in for the wheel gap so we're exactly the same coming straight up and down. Now we're going to the second, sec the second layer of this vehicle. Um, I, and I've been calling it the, call, the doodle bug because that's what they call it, is it not? Yeah, the Texaco doodle bug. That's what they're calling it, the Texaco doodle bug. So that's basically why I'm calling it that. Um, the foundation is laid, so now we're going to start coming up. And one thing I noticed about the truck, or one thing I have recalled about the truck, it says the truck is a little under six feet tall. Well, um, the wheels on that truck, I went down back and measured the wheels that I had on our five-ton Ford that we used for Jolene's race car hauler. Uh, the wheel on that is 36 inches, so that's three feet, uh, that's three feet. So half of the truck, or half of the truck is the wheel. So three feet of the truck is six feet tall, um, half the wheels, half the truck. So where I've shortened this, tr this uh, chassis, I've made it smaller this way, shorter this way. We're trying to keep in perspective of what's going on and why that vehicle is so attractive. And to me, the vehicle is so attractive because of the height of it, the width of it, and the windows of it. So in order to keep this one on the same path that we're not going too far away, this wheel here is 29 inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna round it off and call it 30 inches. So in order to make this project that we're doing here right now, I would want to make it 60 inches tall because the, the truck, the Texaco truck itself is, they're saying six feet. The wheel is half of what the truck is. So if I went half of what this wheel is, I'm going to say I'm going to be 60 inches tall. I had a tape measure here close by. Where did I put it? Did I put it back? We're gonna get a 60 inch measurement right over here. We're gonna get a 60 inch measurement and see where it's going. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday because me and Jolene are. And I wanna thank everybody for sending out a happy birthday to Jolene. It means a lot to me, I appreciate it. And every one of you that has sent out a happy birthday to Jolene are good people, guarantee it. Awesome, thank you very much. And I'm sure she appreciates it too. I do. Jolene does. So 60 inches uh, is five feet. So we are, so we got 29 for our wheel. We're going to say 30 for our wheel just to keep it good. So we're at 60 inches. This vehicle is going to be right where my thumb is. We're going to be that tall. Or it can be a little bit shorter. But we're basically we're going to try to keep that perspective as we're going along with this bad boy. Um, so when I look at the truck that we're making, the Texaco truck, when, uh, when we, we, we come up on top of that wheel well, it's about five to six inches before it starts turning into the roof. 
It's basically um, just above the wheel. Uh, we got probably four to five inches and then it starts turning into the roof. So what we've got over here, we've got some pieces over here that we had cut off the ends of all the, all the wheel arches. And um, I, I would like to use them if possible. I'm not sure if they're all exactly the same, but that gives us, it gives us that little distance there on the end that did not get bent. It gives us that distance that I think we need um, to get going over top of that wheel arch. Um, we do. First of all, I think that we need, we need another piece of square stock. Basically, I'm just thinking it through and I'm thinking it through with you. We need another piece of square stock coming along top of this wheel arch, all the way up to this wheel arch, across there. And then we can run all our roof, rat, our roof on top of that square stock. I don't want to run, I'm not going to stud it up and then try to run across. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take and make another level. And what I mean by another level, we got this square stock here. We're not we're not long enough, I only got eight foot lengths. We're not long enough to get on top of that. So what I'm saying is what I'm gonna do is I'm probably I'm gonna add a piece to the eight foot piece. I got a piece on the ground there left over. I've been using everything. I've been welding stuff together. I welded some together on the other side and made for the braces. But anyways, as I've got this eight foot stock, we've got it all cut in eight lengths. I'm gonna add a piece to it and I'm gonna run it on top of the wheel arches. And then we can we can do um, the roof or the yeah the roof that's what we're going to do then we'll do the roof then we can lay each one off the roof and we'll probably do every two feet and the reason being is our metal is four feet wide or when you buy a sheet of metal four feet wide and two feet seems like a, a fair distance to have to put our like you, you know, I think some buildings every two feet you could, so there's two feet. So we run another roof rack there or another roof structure there, one there, then another two feet and we'll go on, so on, so on, and so on. Hmm. But this is, this is something that I'm thinking through my brain as I put that on there. How am I gonna get, how am I gonna get the engine in there? So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'll do one side I need a few things to get the engine there. I gotta figure out what kind of engine, what engine I'm gonna put in it. I'll do one side, get this, get this gathered up, and maybe I'll set maybe something on the other side, and then maybe we'll roll a roof rack to see what it's going to look like. Alrighty, so I'm gonna weld a piece on this. We'll get one side geared up for the toolboxes, for the toolbox on the side. Like Jolene said, we don't even need toolboxes. And, and we probably we don't. No, we don't. We don't need them. But then, when the toolboxes come, then I can take uh, some square stock, and I can stud it up. You know, put put a nice little you know chunk in the center, and, and make it even on both ends with the square stock that we can get a nice toolbox shoved in there. So we'd end up facing it, just like kitchen cupboard kitchen cupboards. You would face it with your two inch all the way around, and then your door would be inside, and then your door would be in there. Um, also, we want this floor closed off. We probably end up bringing a piece of metal from this floor over and then up and connect it on here. And then we can face it somehow and do that. Remember, we have, we have to make wheel well. So this is going to be closed in here. This is all going to be wheel well. This has to be wheel well. So everything has to be closed in. So. Um, there's a lot of work left to do, but let's get this piece laid in there and then we'll try to do the other side and we'll make a roof thing for it. I have a piece of angle iron right there. I'm trying to get, I'll try to get our piece as straight as possible. And then I'll weld that together. see what we can do for me and you so now we're going to the second level of it in the back um, in the back I think I've explained I'm going to do a, like a swoop thing going on 
And the reason being on, on the swoop thing, if I ever decide to put a, if I try to decide to put a trailer hitch on it or something like that, if I put that big cone on the back of it and, and make pieces, make that thing on the back that it has, like the rounded part on the bum, it'd be hard for me to get a trailer hitch way up inside to get out the length of that and put a trailer hitch on it. If I swoop it down like this, then I can cut a section out, French something in there and come off that chassis uh, to make something that could haul a trailer if, if necessary or if, yeah, if necessary. We'll see, we're gonna see where it goes after a while. But basically we just wanna build, um, or I want to build um, the thing that I see on the internet. And you can do the exact same thing if you want to, obviously. It's kind of a, I want a distance in between there, so I can. Just trying to make sure it's. I'm hoping that we're straight. The straighter the better, that would be the best. That is for penetration, obviously. Um, now I know what's going on. I got no glasses on. It's finally hard to see. I just wonder what's going on, man. I can't see. It's a big thing. Um, when you're welding something up that you can see, like you really want to be able to see, <laughs> basically. That was a little better. Now we're going to take that bad boy out. A nice gap going on. Lots of weld in there. This metal's nice and thick. Play right down in there nice. We got a good job done there. So. So looking down at her, see if she's straight. Not bad. I know I say that a lot, not bad, but. It will mean something when I go to put, it will mean something when I go to put um, the roof rack on. If, the, if it's not straight along there, it'll mean something. Just kind of wondering where I want to bring it to. How far do I want to go forward with it? Probably should have welded on something longer than that. And I probably should have. And the reason being is, I could have ran a stud up here. And ran one down. Let's do this. Take a measurement. Just trying to figure it out as I'm going here. I didn't want a long enough piece on it there. I probably should have had a longer piece on it. Twenty-one and a half would be the piece that I want there. So if I took and welded a piece of twenty-one and a half here. I could add that piece onto it. I should have just maybe walled it two together and had it that long and then cut it off, but 21 and a half. Let's cut one. Let's make the measurement again, just to make sure. 
21 and a half. Get tape. Gonna get my zip cut. And it means a lot to get that straight. I can, I can uh, play with it when I've stud it up, make sure it's exactly where it should be. I just welded that on there because that was a piece of uh, square stock that I had sitting there. Wasn't quite thinking that over that well. But we'll get her. Wasn't thinking over getting my square either, but... Running around a little bit, I am. But that happens. This piece will come right up straight up on this and we'll weld to this, come up to the end of that. Does it matter that it has a rake? Does it matter that it has a rake? Like wouldn't that measurement be shorter? No, because we put this on. Joanne's asking me that the vehicle has a rake. The vehicle, the vehicle, the inside of this truck does have a rake. On the outside, we made it level. So we're level all the way around. So it's the same all the way around. Um, in all honesty, uh, we probably should have had, the, we didn't have the right side tire in the front. We could have jacked it up and got the whole truck level in that part, but it did not matter. We had a smaller tire on the front. When we put the bigger tire on the front, we're probably going, it's probably going to bring it up some, obviously. And I just went with it. And it did not matter to me when I did that. But I'm wondering, right at the present moment, as you're talking about that, I'm just wondering if I should bring that there. I'm just thinking in my own brain here for a second. Just kind of wondering whether I should just pull that back. What I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the front and stud the back up. And the reason being is, this is the reason. I've got a, another 12 foot piece that we have to get, we have not got it. And we're going to have to weld it on here. And we're bringing it around exact same as this one. Because that, on that one that we've seen that Joni has shown, um, when we put that round piece on there, then it cap that, then it goes in a little bit for um, the rest of the truck. So I'm thinking that we'll go on the inside if when we bring the other piece around here to give it that bumper look all the way around about that high we're going to go on the inside of that one and then start taking the roof up in the front. So I'm going to do the back. I'll nail the back down. We'll do this. Also, we'll get rid of that. That there. We'll stud it up in the back, then we know. We're still 21 and a half. Let's do it. So I don't know what's going on with the front. I can always add to the front after. down on there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it short halfway or um, I'm going to bring it halfway because we might have to come back a little bit. If I add, if I leave it halfway then I can add some to it and I got a stud there. It'll sit on top of it and I can come back a little bit. If I do not do halfway well then I could be fooling myself. So I'm just going to say that for now in case I have to add some onto it. If you hope you understand that. So what I'm going to do is, and I can add some to that, do a two, 21 and a half there and add some to that, I can. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to turn on the welder, I'm going to tack this here, 
tack it here because we're laying on the wheel wells themselves we're laying on there so we can sheath that so all the metal can be done to sheath that sheath that all the way around here and then we can set that on top of there to go with the roof every two feet that's what i'm thinking and i want to see if that's straight um ba -ba -bum. let's get this leveled up first you see that little level that's right there I want to get that back piece leveled up first before I tack, tack that top piece on. Because we'll tack this stud in here first. Beautiful. See, we got her down. Need a ground. Just double checking with my own head, that's all. Double checking in my own head. I guess it doesn't matter if it's plumb that way. Well, it does, I guess. Tacking things for a second. I think, my, I think that's my best idea, is to tack everything. I'm going to go to the front. Where where I have no plans or not say no plans. Where I'm where I'm building this um, on the fly and um, with no just building it on the fly. There's no set plan for everything. So everything I'm doing, like when I put that piece on there instead of putting it on the front, that's a decision I have to make in my own brain um, whether I'm doing the right thing or not. Um, where, I, like I said, where I'm putting it in the back, I'm not sure what's going on with the front end and the bumper and stuff. So that's why I applied it to the back. So basically you're, you just go with your instinct and if something, something is not right, well, then you cut it back off and fix it. That's basically where I'm at on this situation. It's basically where I'm at. I'm gonna push that in a little bit. Gonna take a look at it for a second. I did notice this one here, this wheel arch opening, is a little twisted.
and I'd rather have it, I'd rather have the bow out than the bow in. And the reason being is if the bow's in, it don't look good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off and try to shove that in a little bit further. Actually, I'm gonna cut that off, just try to get a little bit better. This one here is a little bit twisted. I can tell when it's connected down here. I also want to connect this over here on this side. Yeah. I want to shed that in a little bit further. Pull that out, makes it better. Hmm. <laughs> that was easier. That was easier. I'm just gonna take a look, run down it. Much better. Much better. I got a little tiny bit of a graze out. I'd rather wet out than in. Uh, that's for sure. So we're we're good there. This will depend on studying this up this will depend on probably exactly where if the where I stud the roof up um, I'm gonna stud I'm gonna make another one excuse me another one of these I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I done here on the other side and that way there both sides are done the same so I'm gonna make another one of these cut another one of those we'll go to the other side and then we'll try for two of those pieces and we'll round a piece and then we'll see if we can't get something what we're going for and then yeah we'll go for that just to see if we get we're getting it in proportion oh, excuse me sweetheart I need a knife cut them open I am trying to use every piece of square stock that we bought to get the max out of our money so far we are four hundred dollars in that's where we're at we're four hundred dollars in we paid nothing for that body or for that part we paid nothing it's something I tore apart of the junkyard and uh, the metal is where the money is so we're four hundred dollars in uh, I'm going to cut this at, I'm going to measure the length of this, 32, 32. And I'm hoping that when I do this, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing it right, obviously, I'm hoping. I do not want to cut anything back off, it, but if I have to, don't get it wrong, I will. 100%. See what I just did? I <laughs> was. <laughs> See what I just did? Here I am talking about wasted metal. It will not get wasted. I will use it. <laughs> I cut my eight foot piece to get my 32 inch and uh, that was not what I should have done. So I have two pieces here now. Obviously they're gonna be used for, for studs and that sort of stuff. But I got my 32 inch. 
Jolene's working today. Even though she's a birthday girl, she's working like she always does. But we really enjoy each other's company, so I guess it's not really working as it's we are. Just got a piece of angle iron there, setting it in the angle iron, trying to get it as straight as possible. That's all I'm doing. If you wonder what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. Trying to get it straight as possible. I need a ground. What happens is, Nah, I weld it to the square stock or the angle iron. I'll cut it off here in a minute. Put the bow out. Hope it's not much of one. Ooh, that's nice. Not as nice as you, Joey, but it's nice. Alrighty. We got this piece going on the other side. We're gonna do the exact same thing. As we did on that side. Put the welded end down this way. I'm going to I'll probably take a measurement. I'll get that thing leveled up and I'll do the exact same thing as that. I'm gonna take a take a measurement here. We want to come back some. I'm hoping that we're 21 and a half, or I think it is. We'll use our level to get it leveled up. If it's not exactly, I won't stress it too much. Take a look. 21 and a half. Woo! Love that. Did you want me to cut off another eight foot piece? <laughs> 21 and a half. Let's do that. That makes it good when things are going like that good.
like I've said many times, that's sometimes the hardest part, is getting things ready that way. So we got 21 and a half. Bring them on the level over. And the welder. Um, probably going to bring it over a little bit farther. I don't want to get in your way there, sweetie pie. Sweetie pie, sweetie pie. I have to thank the person who ever bought this little level. I like it. I like it. It sure does move when you put a little heat on something. Wow. Sure does move. See that kind of... I want to cut that back off. The reason being is it's out a little bit. Well, the wrong piece first. And if I, if I don't, and I just weld it on there, when I go to sheath it, it's not gonna be nice and flat all the way around if I don't cut it off, right? So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock it on down here first. It's flush at the bottom. Yo, it's hot! Yo! Um. I'm okay with that. Let's try this way. Didn't do that right at all. <laughs> we'll do it again. I'm going this way first. <laughs> Way better. So now, bubbles. We got a bubble. Let's put it on halfway. that yeah. gonna bring this down a little bit back to the front. Did not look and see if now see I'm not liking that one and I'll tell you why because the bow is on uh, on the wrong side so I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off and turn it up the other way didn't check it before I put it on so sad too bad I'm going to cut that off 
turn this over. This, this piece here is fine. Just going to turn this over. Watch yourself through here. Take a look at it again. I want the bow out. You can see how it's bowed in a little bit, could you not? Yeah. Good. This means I'm not doing the wrong thing, that's all. Much better. Much better. Let's turn that on again. It'll mean a lot. <laughs> It'll mean a lot when the old side of the truck gets sided if you know what i'm saying like when the when the siding goes on uh, it'll mean a lot just want to knock that off a little bit it'll compliment me more in the end being um, on the now I gotta do it again. Now I have this upside down, so I'm gonna check it again. I don't think that's where I had it, is it? where I had it. Still good. Good. Awesome. Probably could come in there a little bit. Come in there just a little bit. Just gonna take that off. Being fussy, but I'd rather be a little fussy than have a mistake in the end. I wanna come in there just a little bit. Just want to make it flush, that's all. Makes a difference. In sort of place. Now we are going to make. I want to tack that back side so it don't move. Just going to tack it, I guess. <laughs> See that? I'm going to put my helmet down. He's got a hat on. Just going to tack it on. The other one on the other side is not tacked on the inside. Did not do that. I'm going to tack this one. Still light one, in case I have to knock it off. Just gonna feed that over to the other side. 
And I'm just gonna touch it on the other side just in case because we're gonna put a roof piece on. Alrighty, now we've got two pieces on the length of it going at the same, the same length, the same stud, the same everything on both sides. Um, that's, that's good, that's what I want. So now we're going to, we've got these pieces that we cut off, uh, got one over there, that we cut off these pieces. We do not want to waste anything. And like I said on that picture, Jolene's, it seemed like that we we're up about that far before we started going over. We are a 30 inch wheel, we're, we're saying that we have. Pretty close. You know, they're, they're close. I mean, like, probably could cut that off and make that a little bit better. And what's going to happen is we will make that better. We'll actually make those exactly the same. We'll have to make a, a what? Markers over which side? Let's make these the same before we even start. We'll cut the line. So when, when I'm thinking of building this, I'm just thinking of the exact same thing as a house, as you would stud it up, you have your, that's all I'm thinking, we're about the exact same. Good. So we're thinking, I'm going to stick one on top of here for now. We'll go one here. Um, I'll take our little level, everything's still looking right. I should make a measurement so we're both the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one here, stick one over there, then we'll get the roller going. We'll make an eight foot, we'll take an eight foot piece, and then we'll see if we can get it to hit this end and hit that end. And then, and then we can see what it's going to look like. If, if it's not exactly the same, or if I can't reach, let me know I'll have to get a longer piece, or so forth. So. Just gonna make a measurement. We're pretty well the same here, we're plumbed up. So I'm just gonna make a measurement here from there to there. We'll do it, um, I'm gonna mark it at, we're connected right there. Hit around this area. I'm gonna say 17 and a half. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try to nail it on top of what's going on there. We'll put it on that side, put an X on that side so we know what side we want it on. Hoping that 17 and a half is basically the same. Love it, love it, love it. 17 and a half. Put a line 17 and a half and then put an X on this side so the stud's gonna go on this side and we're gonna put on 17 and a half and it sits right on the middle of that which is where we want it. Let's do the start the welder up. Maybe I'll do the other one on the other side first. And the reason being is, is the welder's cords over there. Oh, I left both them bars over there. But. I 
have to forgive me if it looks like I'm running around a lot because <laughs> I am. I don't know exactly what I'm, I'm doing. It's called on the fly. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. But I'm taking you along on the venture with us. We are building a car truck from nothing. That's what we're doing. Put it on the line. I would have to have that right on that piece of weld. Um, got a line here I'm on. Yep, it's my line. Closing my eyes, hitting the welder. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> that looks crooked in the ram's horns, what that looks. And it is, because this is plumb on this side. <laughs> it's straight up, so that's veered off that way. I'm gonna have to have a... Because, it, and it's, and it's pl flush here. So it's going to have to be twisted. It's not going to be. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to twist it for now. Twist it for now. And the reason being is. We're just going to get a visual for now. I'm going to have to take. Uh, it's going to break off again. Okay, we're close. Just kind of want to get a visual of what's going on and what I'm doing. That piece there where it's crooked like that, it's going like this. I'm going to take it over that piece of wood. Big hammer. Boom! Hit it on right here somewhere. Straighten it out before I get going with it but I have to start somewhere I can bang it on the wood and make it straight and all that stuff right now I can but I don't think it's necessary to try to see where we're going because I'm cutting that back off that's not staying there I'm basically just pretending right at the present moment Putting on my line. Hopefully, I can bend that in. Fair. Just kind of hold it in place. So that's just tacked there. Nothing. This, this one's a little like that too. I'm going to have to straighten that out. But in all honesty, I just want to see if I can get a roof thing going on. It's what I want. Okay, it seems to be tacked on. Okay. Let's take a eight foot piece and see if we can eat, if it even works across there. If it does not work across there, if I got to, if it's not long enough, which I, I know it's long enough, it should be, because we're only 90 and a half on the inside. It's dwindling down fast. All right, that's good. I'm going to tack them on a little bit better, and the reason being is that's heavy. I don't want it to come off. Everything's fair you know it's fair Just tack it on a little bit better
lots of metal there um, to grind that off and tack it and to tack it off and grind it off to make it look nice lots of lots of steel there just knock this off take our helmet off let's roll a piece of metal um, and clamp it on there I suppose instead of going outdoors let's do this Clamp her there. Pair of seat clamps. Hold her down, that's all. Vice grips of that. Go. Mm -hmm. Put that down there. Alrighty, from what I understand, what Jolene's been telling me, we're we're pretty well at an hour. So um, I feel like this is a good place to shut it down so you'll come back tomorrow. Um, so what I'm, what's gonna happen is we'll roll the piece, we'll leave it like that. We'll roll a piece tomorrow. We'll get that shape going there. And then we'll get to see, basically, we'll get to see if we look at the side of it, and look at that one piece going across, we'll, we'll, we'll see the shape of what we're building. Um, everything's just tacked in place. If anything needs to be moved, you know what happens. Just take the zip cut, cut it off. Uh, we have all this stuff is in place. That's not going nowhere. Now we're going, we're building the walls and the roof. Uh, we will, yeah. We're gonna start, we're gonna leave it there. Alrighty, like, share, comment, Happy birthday, Jolene. We appreciate you all the comments and stuff like that. We really do. A lot of good people out there. Thank you very much. Um, come back tomorrow and we will do a roof truss, I guess you'll call it. We'll do a roof truss and we'll start studying it up and that sort of stuff. You're really going to get to see what it looks like. Have a great day, everybody. Come back tomorrow. We'll be here.